graders. Welcome to my front porch. Boys and girls, I'm going to talk to you about poetry today. We're working on a kind of poetry called I Am Poetry. I Am Poetry follows a nice, easy frame, and it's pretty easy to write. The example we have from our Super Kids series is called I Am an Alligator. I am an alligator, dark and scary. I swim in the swamp. I nap in the sun. I can eat you up. I am an alligator. Boys and girls, I've written a few of my own I Am poems to share with you. But before I do, I want to talk to you a little bit about what you might have found in your packets. This I Am poem is really spread out over two days in our packets. You're going to find a planning page on day six. Looks a little something like this. And you're going to find the frame for the poem on day seven. The frame looks like this. Boys and girls, this poem is very easy to write, and once you've written it, with or even without the frame, you might find you want to write a few more. Mrs. McConkie found out today they became a little addicting. I've written several to share with you. Now, if you use the planning uh, page to help you, what it'll do is give you a place to brainstorm some ideas to make it easier to write your poem on the following day. But you could write this poem without using the planning page as well. I'll show you some tips and some tricks to make that happen. So let's go back to that frame. When we write an I am poem, first graders on our frame, we're going to put our topic that we've chosen on the top line. When we talk about a topic for an I am poem, this could be an animal, it could be a person, it could be a thing. Uh, it might be easiest to start with an animal, and then if you want to elaborate or try a second poem or two, um, then you might move on to a person or a thing. On your next lines down, what you're going to do is fill in with either an adverb or an adjective. When I talk about adverbs and adjectives, what I'm talking about are words that describe. An adverb is a word that describes a verb. So it's going to be a word that describes an action. For example, a way you might walk or a way you might run. Quickly, slowly, carefully. These words are adverbs. You could choose to use an adjective instead. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. So a word that would describe um, a person. Maybe they're quiet, loud, small, tall. All of those words are adjectives. In our poetry frame, you can use adjectives and or adverbs. Whatever works for you, whatever helps you think of that special thing you've chosen as your topic. topic. Then what you're going to do are to think about some of the ways that your topic moves. Think about some of the things that your topic does and you're going to fill those in on the bottom lines of our frames. I, I, I can, and I am. I'm going to show you a few examples that I made to kind of help you with this process. So I have a few friends you can't see sitting with me here in my chair. I'm going to start with one of my favorites. I am an owl. I am an owl, watchful and wise. I wait quietly in the night. I perch up high to see far and wide. I can hoot loudly to warn you. I am an owl. I've got another friend sitting with me here in my chair. I'm going to show him to you next. A lion! First graders, I want to talk to you about a word that's going to appear in my poem. In my poem, I've used the word pride. Now, we know that the word pride can mean a feeling, like feeling really good about something that you did, almost wanting to brag about it, being really happy about having done something. 
But in my poem, I'm going to use another meaning of the word pride. Boys and girls, did you know that a group of lions is called a pride? Yeah, that's the word to describe a whole group of lions together. I am a lion. I am a lion, brave and courageous. I hunt for my food. I protect my pride. I can roar ferociously. I am a lion. Boys and girls, writing poems about animals is a lot of fun. But you might choose to write a poem about a person or a thing. You might see that Mrs. McConkie's wearing one of my favorite flowers. Boys and girls, I've chosen to write another poem about a sunflower. I am a sunflower, tall and bright. I always face toward the sun. I grow in the summertime. I can brighten your day. I am a sunflower. First graders, I hope this little video will help you understand and work on those poems. Can I tell you, I cannot wait to hear and see some of your great poetry. I know how creative you are. Once you've finished writing your poem on the front side, I'd love to see some wonderful illustrations on the back side. Boys and girls, please know I'm missing you. Have fun with your poems. Bye.